If you are looking for a spot to warm up during the Winter Carnival, check out Grey Duck Tavern. The restaurant serves up North Shore-inspired comfort food just a block away from Rice Park in St. Paul. And Executive Chef Patrick O'Hare is here. Uh, this is a very true to Minnesota restaurant when I just kind of glance through the, met the menu. Yeah, that's what we're going for. We want to serve uh, food that's really inspired by, by the Midwest and especially Minnesota because there's, there's a lot of great ingredients here. There's a lot of fun cultures and uh, and food traditions here and so we're trying to do them all justice or as many of them as we can at least. So you can't get by without tater tot hot dish but you've upped the ante a little bit. Yeah this isn't grandma's tater tot hot dish we're doing a red wine braised short rib hot dish with a house made cream of oyster mushroom sauce so that's what I'm doing right yeah, now. Yeah my grandma never made that. <laughs> but now you can. You've got but my we recipe. can. Exactly. So I've got my uh, my oyster mushroom sauteed here and now get a little red wine in there and just start that reducing. Okay. Want to cook that down because that's going to be a huge part of the flavor of this sauce. So while that is reducing, what is the vibe of the restaurant and your kitchen? Um, it's a it's a modern restaurant. You know, we we have uh, modern fixtures, but it's um, it's laid back. It's fun. Okay. You know? So you can walk in in jeans if you want, oh, or totally. or you can get fancy if you prefer. I mean, we've had people uh, stop in wearing wearing top hats and tails on their way to the the opera yes. right next door, but um. Most of the people are, are dressed casually. Right, it's, you can come a from cat. a wild game too. For, oh, for sure, yeah, we're right next door. So we, we do that all the time. And I noticed you did give a nod up to the north with some poutine, a nod to the east with some cheese curds yep, as of well. Course. I'm, I'm a Wisconsin boy. Oh, are you? Okay. So, so if we're gonna do cheese curds, we gotta have Wisconsin cheese curds. Very cool, you got walleye in there. What is yep. your kind of favorite things that you've brought here uh, in addition to the, the hot dish that we're making? Yeah, so here we have a, a bison cheese steak. It's a smoked bison shoulder wow. with uh, peppers and onions and a, and a house-made cheese sauce on a milk bun. Um, this is a campfire salmon. Uh, it's kind of a dressed up version of, of a shore lunch, essentially. So like okay. a really, really simple baked salmon with roasted carrots and potatoes and a, and a butter sauce and some herbs over the whole So thing. everything is very familiar, just kind of taken to the next level. Yeah, a little more special. That's what we're trying to do is, okay. is really, really uh, elevate. The, the you know the the experience of of Minnesota food. Perfect. So we got our wine. Yep. Let's pretend it's reduced to your liking. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, then I would add in our our uh, celery, carrot, onion, and and let those saute down. Okay. And then once those are ready, then we finish the sauce with some cream, some sour cream, and of course our short rib. How do you make your short rib? So the short rib we we braise in red wine and beef stock with. Uh, celery, carrot, and onion, and some, some herbs, thyme, bay leaves, garlic, and rosemary. Perfect, and we have, with the magic of TV, a, do. a finished project. Let's we do. pull that baby out. It's amazing how this works, yeah. <laughs> it's a real oven here, folks. It, it, it works. It and you do, you do have the, ta the classic tater tots on top. I like that, you've kept that classic. Of, of course. I mean, it's just, uh, it's so iconic. It's, right. It just works. That's it, what we It need. just works. And, of course, we're gonna finish it Got a little bit of Parmesan on there. A little Parmigiana. Parmigiano, Reggiano. <laughs> and hit it with some herbs. Always some green at restaurants. You always do some green, make it look fancy, right? Yeah, you know, it, it adds color. It makes it look vibrant. Very and good. And pl plus this, now, now you have your vegetables. And you do have some, I will mention, some uh, more vegetarian options. You can do Impossible with yes. this. That's really cool. Um, I we don't that. we don't serve this with Impossible on the menu just yet, but yep. that's something you we're, have a we're burger. working on. We do, we do serve an Impossible burger. Um, we've got a... For vegetarian options, we've actually got a vegan wild rice bowl, Very cool. um, which is sautéed wild rice and a bunch of veggies and toasted nuts and maple syrup. Sounds fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, Grey Duck Tavern located on Wabasha Street, just downtown St. Paul, about a block off Rice Park. We have a link to today's recipe on care11.com slash Saturday. We'll be right back.